We have enough vegetables right now to give about 15 items, but we don't have enough staff time. So the hardest part uh, of my job is to try to manage everything and to try to give a quality share, but not um, to, but also to be thinking of the next month or two, because we're almost getting to the end of where we can actually plant stuff. So back, um, back in the way back, I just planted uh, two acres of greens and radishes and turnips and bok choy, and um, we're keeping that watered. And that, so that's going to be kind of like, you know, mid October to towards November. So that's like how far ahead. And then like the um, also with the uh, broccoli is going to be like end of September, mid October. There's like succession plantings. We'll try to have broccoli almost entirely from probably the third week of September right up to November. Um, cauliflower, uh, we have more radicchio, Chinese cabbage, Savoy cabbage. Uh, so there's three rows of uh, Swiss chard up there. Um, and then we have Swiss chard right now that's like that tall and beautiful that um, I'm waiting, I'm keeping an eye on it and making sure it doesn't pull, but it's probably gonna be, one of the most difficult times we have is like early September, early to mid September. Um, so I try to keep some things that'll hold, you know, so that we have stuff available. Why is it difficult? Is it we get a lot of disease, so we lose like cucumbers, zucchini. Um, we lose all, a lot of, sometimes all of our tomatoes can get wiped out really fast. It starts to cool off, get wet. We start to get hurricane weather, so it can damage. And then we're still kind of um, dealing with the effects of maybe a hot, you know, mid to late August. So trying to keep things germinated and watered. Sometimes we lose crops, you know, from uh, these flea beetles. I don't know if you've seen them. We've, uh, they can get pretty bad when it gets hot and dry and they'll eat the leaves off so we may lose some crops that were planned to be available then. 